What is up, my fellow Tarhans? I'm Captain Beans, and welcome to Operation Hard Fleet. If you have not seen the introduction video, I highly suggest that you see it, but if you have, let's get to it. Right now, we are located in Ur, and our objective for today is to get Omar Khan to join the Beans Navy and to start our campaign in Gerat. And Omar Khan seems to be located somewhere northwest of Ur, which I am guessing it's either the city Ghazm or Engedi. It could be any of these two. And these two cities we are probably going to liberate today. And maybe even Sheba, because it is also a very nice city to have. Now, first things first, let's turn off the radar. Why? Because there are a lot of strike groups roaming around, and having our radar turned on has the potential to give us away way too early, and we don't want that. So, let's start. So let's get some fuel and get some supplies, and let's first capture, or I mean, no, not capture, liberate Gazam first. Okay, so let's get some fuel, maybe just enough for the fleet to even reach Engedi. And in terms of supplies, air-to-air -air missiles. Now that is very lucky. These I am going to take. I'm going to take 20 of those. Now these are used by aircraft and you can use those to intercept enemy missiles or enemy planes. But I mainly like to use those against missiles. So we got air-to-air -air missiles, and ooh, I would also like to get some 100mm proximity fuses, because that, <clears throat> because the lightning uses those. Alright, so let's just let our fleet refuel, and I'm going to send a couple of lightnings to take Gazam and Engedi. Because these two cities are probably the most important for us at the beginning. Oh, and also Treba, because that is also an intelligence center. Now, from, from what I'm seeing here, this is actually a very good area, because the fleet headquarters is actually very close to us, first of all. So we can have a checkpoint very early on in the game. Not that I'm going to use it as a checkpoint and come back to a save, but in case anything happens, I can always just come back to the save. And also, there's this huge open area right here, which kind of tells me that there is a hidden city. A hidden city, of course, is a city that is not marked on the map until you find it. And the way I guess we will do it is I could send one of my ships from Engedi somewhere over here, look for some roads and see if the roads lead to a hidden city. But I guess we could do that in the next episode, not today. Today's mission is to get Omar Khan into the Beans Navy. So let's get refueling and let's go. Now, little known fact, no matter how long you stay in Ur, even if it, it is dangerous to be there, the enemy won't actually find you. Which is actually kind of interesting, because uh, you, you could stay in Ur and refuel however much you want, but I am kind of low on money, so I would prefer to refuel at a fuel depot, which is why we are also going to liberate Engedi. But okay, let's send our ships to liberate both towns. Let's send a lightning with a Nadezhda into Gazam. And then let's send another lightning and another Nadezhda. Okay, it is too far to reach Engedi. So, actually, let's take Sheba. 
since these guys just can. And yeah, I think the main fleet can just hang around here in Ur, and yeah, these guys are going to take both of these towns, and then maybe after that I'll have one of these ships, one of these groups of ships, take Engedi, whoever is more ready to do so. Now what's also kind of interesting that I've learned is that the different sizes of circles indicate the population of towns. So a bigger circle is a bigger town. And I'm not sure if this is true, but I heard that it has some effect on the size of garrison. But I feel like there has to be more research done on that. I actually don't really know if that's actually true. But if we are going to use this mechanic, we can assume that the garrison in here in Akkad is probably bigger than the garrison in Samra. But I don't know. This is just something that the High Fleet unofficial Discord server will have to figure out. Alright, so now we are fast approaching Gazan and let's see how it goes. Oof, this is a pretty serious garrison. The biggest threat in this garrison is Nimrod, since he is using the 108, no, yeah, 180mm Sarmat cannon, which uh, very highly likely is using proximity fuses. So I'm gonna have to fight him first, and then I can deal with the ballistic and the Sarma. But yeah, let's see how this goes. Let's go, bitches! Alright, where is the Nimrod? Where is he? There he is. Open fire! Right now I'm just going to dodge these missiles. hit but the Nimrod is now destroyed all right let's not use too much fuel and let's now take out these remaining ships come on you stupid Sarma just stop shooting at me I'm running out of fuel but I need to dodge these guys. We lost an engine. Fuck. We might just crash. Okay. Now focus fire on the Ballistic. Come on. I'm trying to conserve fuel here, but it's very hard to do so. That's it, we are out of fuel. Oh, that was very lucky. Okay, so we took a lot of damage, <laughs> and we almost ran out of fuel, but I'll take this victory. I cannot afford to lose any morale by replaying the battles, so let's just have this thing repaired as quickly as we can and get it moving.
I say this is a victory. A pretty lossful victory, but... Okay, let's have the quicker repair speed. And we need to search up the shipwrecks. So let's first get the fuel. And then there's also a crew qu crew quarters, which is actually really good because we can get a gift for Omar Khan to make him even more happy to join us. Let's get, you know, let's get the uh, let's get the Sarmat cannon. Hopefully there's going to be enough time to get the crew cabins. And these guys are about to attack Sheba. Okay, let's do this thing where I detach the lightning from the tanker. Just so that the tanker doesn't lose morale in the battle. The tanker is also a very important ship and I don't want it to lose morale. Alright, what's going on in the shipwrecks? Okay, and then let's get the crew cabins. Oh shit! This is a bad garrison. Because there is a fearsome, which is basically a beefed up Nimrod. Which is the ship that I talked about earlier. Let's equip ourselves with proximity fuses, so that we can dodge R5 Zenith missiles. Let's use high explosives on this fearsome right here. Let's focus fire on this guy. I think we've been hit. I probably should be shooting from below him. But I think but I punctured a good enough amount of his armor that I can pretty much shoot him from the port side. And he's dead. Let's switch over to these. get higher up so that I have a nice distance away from the enemy and also in case I run out of fuel I'll still have enough time to fight before I crash But I did take quite a lot of damage, so I'll have to repair this thing as well. Alright, so what do we have here? So, fuel tanks, let's get those. Alright, so both towns have been taken, even though I took quite a lot of damage on both lightnings. Which, not super terrible, but I would have preferred to, uh, what is it, have the lightnings move quicker. And okay, so let's land the ships in Sheba. Uh, let's land this lightning into the 51% uh, platform. Uh, 
There you go. The signal station. There is an abandoned gathering relay station on a nearby mountaintop. It is still intact. The station's crew and guards ran for their lives before they could destroy the place. Faisil's knockers are eager to dismantle it for valuable parts. Your radio operators, on the other hand, want to keep it intact in order to intercept enemy communications. Um, so I can either not take it apart and get more intel, or I can take it apart and get more money. Now, this is already an intel station, the town, so I think I'll just have this thing dismantled and get more money. I need more money right now. The Elames echo your orders with shouts of delight and eagerly begin dismantling the station. They seem to know exactly what they're doing. Okay, so we got some repair parts and some money, which is good. Let's repair this guy. 17 hours, what the hell? I landed him in a good spot, and it's still 17 hours to repair him. I guess this is hard difficulty after all. <laughs> okay, let's see the supplies. Nothing much. Okay, so now we've gotten an intelligence station and I'm not gonna use the intel just right now because I'd like to use the freshest intel on the next episode so I guess I'll just let these guys repair and get refueled okay these guys have dismantled and salvaged everything so let's land these guys okay so what I'll do is I'll repair the lightning enough so that it gets a landing gear and then once this thing gets a landing gear, I'll land it into a platform and guess, get this thing fully repaired. But I think it'll have to happen in well, before the next episode, so yeah. And what do we have here? We have KH-15 missiles. That's actually really good. Because I'm going to use these a lot. And everything else is just a bunch of spare parts, I guess. And right here, we have Omar Khan. And I think I got a good enough gift for him, so let's go talk to him. A group of people from the ship approach you. They are all dressed in military uniforms, but do not appear to be armed. A tall Elim walks ahead of the rest. His face is open to the elements, and a sword shows its hilt from behind his back. All signs of a man of noble birth. All right, so, glory to Girat and welcome. Now, this guy is a very proud Elaim, which is like a Girat, Girat person. So I'm looking for allies to wage war. Ooh, this is good. Of the woes of the people and how you wish to aid them. This is a kindness speech. I'm gonna use it. Nice. Okay, um, of the injustice seen through Gerat, this is a order speech, and I'm also going to use it. There you go, already two stars, that's nice. Alright, of the importance of faith in times of trouble. Ooh, this is good, because I'd like to play this playthrough with faith. Like, I, I want to get as much faith points as I can. So I'm going to use this speech. Yes. Yes. And Omar Khan is absolutely ecstatic to join the Beans Navy. Omar Khan, welcome aboard. And we also got a nice Gepard from, the, from Omar Khan. So... I guess what I'll do is, I'll probably take some of the things from it, and I'll sell the ship. 
I'll take these sprint missiles because those can be very useful on my Egret ships. I guess I could also take this fire control radar. And then the rest I'll just sell it. Okay, so now the objective of today has been complete. We found Omar Khan and we got his full support in this campaign. And so I guess what I'll do next after this episode is just get the lightnings repaired and fully fueled. And in the next episode, when everyone is refueled and repaired, we shall probably take Engedi and Akkad. And we are also going to use some intelligence to find the first strike group and tactical groups. But that is going to be it for this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed this campaign so far. And I hope you guys are looking forward to this. And thank you very much for watching. Tarhans, happy high fleet!